First of all, I think we, uh, you know, we are happy with the performance you know, in the group stage. Apparently, I think, uh, of course, uh, there is still room for improvement and we are only at the group stage uh, at this moment. So, uh, what is really that we, I'm very happy about is uh, the way they manage uh, you know, the, the matches. Although the, uh, there was some uh, situation whereby we need for further improvement, but uh, overall with this uh, uh, VAR implementation, you know, from the group stage until the final, we are, we are happy with it and hopefully that they will continue, you know, to perform even better because we are striving towards excellence, you know, right. Well, uh, you know, I officiated the eight, uh, the all FIFA tournament except the World Cup. Um, I understand the all FIFA and AFC expectations. Um, I always remember uh, Mr. Corina and also uh, Mr. Hani and also Mr. Bosaka. They teach me like uh, how I deal with every situation, every decision, and every sanction on the match. And uh, I will try my best and to do it and uh, to keep my performance on it. It is a proud. I feel proud for my team, for my self performance, and uh, but it's uh, uh, also a responsibility to represent the AFC or the referees to show the world our performance. So I need to I need to immediately uh, drop the the proud down and the concentration on the matches to fully preparation as usual and analyze the teams so uh, focus on the match uh, situation by situation minute by minute second by second uh, celebrate after the match Really, really happy. Uh, first time coming here, and then uh, I did referee, VR, AVR, force official, everything. Very tired, but very happy. Uh, with uh, my colleague, with uh, FC staff, and then with the uh, players. And we are training. If they don't, we don't have uh, players. We cannot so uh, we are training. So everything fantastic experience for just I I making one step for the future. Yeah, step by step, just one one step, and then I I just keep going. Yeah. Again, from the beginning. Right, don't be aggressive, 
Don't be abusive, forget about abusive, but be firm, polite, but at the same time, action accordingly when needed. Right? So, uh, from this side, again, I, I think whatever being really informed about all the reminders, I think that that's actually I wanted to speak also, but you know, this brother's kid, you know, he mentioned, I think, very clearly about all these things. Small details, and all the small details, please take care. You know, you all know the team very well. Uh, be clever, you know, be intelligent. Referring a match is not, again, I mentioned it's only about appreciating, but you have to understand about good management. Asian Cup uh, is uh, like uh, exhibition, so uh, many people watch players. We watch referees. We watch referees' abilities uh, to go to next level, to go to higher level, which is uh, FIFA competitions. And for sure, the referees who perform very well, the referees who showed outstanding performance. Uh, they might be selected uh, to go to next level, which is uh, FIFA competitions, including uh, World Cup and Olympics. And uh, we hope those referees who will be selected for, for next uh, stage uh, will perform very well also in FIFA level. I already discussed with uh, our team and then uh, we need to look more about uh, anticipation. Anticipation and how the referee need to open their mind to be strong, to, to, to find the solution on the pitch. Because we want to make this referee feel comfortable, feel a lot of courage to make a decision first. So, uh, football in the modern era now, they, have, they, have, you know, they play with a very fast, and then the transition is not, you know, sometimes you cannot expect then they start to uh, make uh, long passes or short passes in very few seconds. So we want the referee to find you know, a solution, especially at the penalty area. When they arrive and then they need to make some detail. For example, like to make uh, one or two steps when they feel something blocking their view. Before this blocking gives you a, a problem, then you need to find a solution how I can avoid this. Also, we talk about the characteristic because now in a uh, World Cup, they, they are coming, you know, the, the team, similar like Asian Cup, they are coming from the different confederation and then they have also different mentalities, some very strong characters, some more disciplined. But we want to put our referees in the strong characteristic, not to shout, not to fight, but to fight with their character with respect. So this is one, uh, you know, uh, the areas that uh, we discuss a lot, how we can make our referees look more respect with the characteristic. For the offside, we are not worried too much. In this Asian Cup, they are performed very, very, very well. Excellent performance by the assistant referees. So this is the last one. Presentation is very important. You are the one who will summarize what we are doing from the first day when we arrive here. Now, tomorrow is our summarize. We need to conclude our uh, uh, Asian Cup here with excellent. Like what we said uh, here before, can we go with the first slide here? Take care, feel, thinking. If I not do this, if I do this, what could happen? Anticipate, not just waiting and then they have a problem and then only we want to discuss. Much of preparation is focused more on tactical side because it's very important for the referee to understand how these two teams play. He need to know the, the, the style of the playing, the format of the playing. He need to, need to know the key player. He need to know how they play in the set pieces, free, free kick, corner kick, 
how they, from where they start the attack? Is it from the first third or then the middle? How they're playing? Or is they, do they play high pressing, mid pressing, low pressing? Because that will impact his positioning and that will help him a lot to read the match correctly. And what we did for them on the match uh, preparation, this is only a part because also the referees, they have to prepare themselves. This is why they watch all the matches and they do analysis by themselves. So here we just help them to give them some uh, clue how they can understand the team tactics because there's no team go to the match without study the other team. And we are the third team. We have to study the two teams, how they play. This is will help us as referees to manage this match, to be able to read it, to understand, to take a correct position uh, during the match. So that means touch my, my chest or something, and the ball really completely the same direction. Complete. Because attacker, ball and ball, defender is there, standing, and I think you already had a few situations in this competition, and then we we'll go inside. But in this situation, of course, number seven is taking a risk. He's taking a risk. But he complete. What he can do more? We cannot play like penguin, eh? stay with the arm down. It's normal, you go and then up. Of course, if you go there and then, please control better your body. Take more down. Because if the ball goes directly to the arm now, it's penalty, yes? For sure, it's penalty. You know, we are insisting on football understanding. We know the laws of the game, we know what is written in the book. But we have to make correct interpretation. And of course, understand more football, we understand more the players what they are doing. If they make something deliberately or not, if they need the arm to move or not, or to jump. This is creating the difference with top referees. And uh, what I say always, referee have to try to surprise. Surprise in positive. They must have, uh, you know, a talent like a player who want to score a goal, who want to win the game, the same. So this is my expectation in the future. In FIFA, we are working a lot on this direction. Our president, uh, of course, has the same uh, mentality. And we thank him, we thank FIFA to support 100% uh, all our project because referees need, uh, need the project, need to be considered, not only players. To be at the Asian Cup 2023 is already uh, it, it, it's, it already means for a referee to be to be successful, uh, and then to progress in the competition, uh, and of course uh, to be to be appointed for for the final. So uh, this is the success. Fact block it won't help. Yeah, this is their strength defensively, but also some new clips from the last game against uh, Korea.
very much before we uh, uh, we, we, we will watching the uh, both team uh, how they play and uh, what's the key player uh, and also after the match uh, we have debriefing uh, every match day uh, after we have uh, debriefing also for me I will watching the game uh, after the match uh, what is uh, uh, I did well uh, what uh, I need to improve No, 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 Every single match is uh, different uh, because the team is different, the player is different. So uh, before the match, we must be know uh, both team how they play. Uh, maybe uh, the team uh, challenge, uh, the atmosphere is uh, become too very high, very warm. So we need to control. I did my best to manage them. Yeah. Now no more management. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. If need, go. Yeah. If the sun bench problem, you can go control, no problem. Talk to them. Okay, no problem. Okay. In a uh, moment near to me, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay, his um, uh, attacker is himself to strike it and fell down. It's no problem. Okay. Clear moment, clear. The FIFA World Cup is a uh, referee's uh, target. If I have a chance to next World Cup, I will use my uh, experience and also I will learn uh, what's the new uh, FIFA philosophy and also uh, I will uh, keep hard working for the next World Cup. Well, I think it's every dream uh, of a referee who you know wants to be in the World Cup. Of course, uh, those who are who have performed in this Asian Cup, uh, which is the platform for any top referees in Asia as a candidate for the for the World Cup. So, uh, those proven one definitely they will be given the opportunity. Of course, not only. Uh, in the performance of in this Asian Cup. Uh, also the last two years, we're to 2022 and 2023. So we want to see that these people are given the opportunity because based on merit and also based on their competency. And, and of course, uh, hopefully that they will achieve their dream by uh, you know, going to the next level, which is from Asia and then to FIFA competitions. You know, in, especially the ultimate dream is to be in the World Cup. Yeah.
all matches are important and uh, we uh, our message to the referees that they should uh, treat every match as a final so they go for a final and they need to uh, they need to perform to the final of the final match performance uh, this is a message that they they should all uh, understand and, and be aware of. But sometimes we emphasize uh, some key messages in some matches uh, that, that has history or that has um, just to be extra cautious uh, and extra careful about specific situations that happens previously and we don't want it to be repeated again. Um, this is sometimes a match specific um, uh, or Sometimes the messages are towards specific uh, um, area that we need the referee to, to pay attention to. But uh, the common message to all the referee is again to, to go and to perform to the highest level uh, as, as this is a final uh, match and they have to go there and secure uh, uh, their top performance in this match.